Hey gang, Diana here. I'm just going to do a little art journaling today. I'm actually starting a couple of pages, but um, I'll be working on the left hand side of this page. And I'm just going to start out with some portfolios. Uh, they are water soluble oil pastels. And I'm just going to start rubbing them around pretty randomly all over the page. I have to the right there, I have four small scraps from uh, all, some old sketches I made several years back at the Philadelphia Japanese Gardens. I was working on a series and um, in my recent studio reorg I came upon some of the sketches and uh, just clipped them out of the page and uh, thought I would make a journal page on that uh, project or, or really that moment in time I was at the gardens in deep in the winter uh, they let me in because I was working on this piece for a show in Philadelphia that was um, sort of highlighting uh, different uh, different parks in Philadelphia and I chose the Japanese garden because I just love it so much. So the theme of the series was the moon and a bridge that is at the garden. So I'm just going to speed this up and let you watch for a little bit. Then I'll come back. Just a note, that's just some um, Quitex gesso it melts down the oil pastel since the oil pastel is water soluble. I'm just smearing it on the page to soften the background a little bit. Okay, after rolling up my sleeves, I am uh, just going to glue down these little thumbnail sketches. I'm really not sure at all where this is going at this point. So I'm taking a little bit of the portfolio and just making a circle around it. And I wind up changing this. As I said, no idea which direction this is going to go in right now. Okay, I'm back. I accidentally deleted the whole background, uh, how I got it dark, but I'll tell you, I uh, used some of Pam Carricker's new ink called Barely Black and made that area uh, a moon shape using a uh, black and a brush. And the ink is really uh, more of a blue black, which uh, I like. It's not a harsh black. It's also permanent, which meant I could then go over things with watercolor. And I used um, a brown and a an indigo watercolor to build up some dark areas. Now I used a uh, oil pastel, regular oil pastel, not water soluble, to draw in those little houses at the bottom. And next, now I'm going over them with Pam's a white ink and um, I keep wiping my brush because every time I put a stroke down my brush has picked up some watercolor so this first coat of ink will seal the watercolor in and then I'll be able to get a little bit lighter I didn't really want it too light but uh, uh, that's that's how I'm doing that So in addition to Pam's white ink, I have a uh, gold, so, sorry, silver uh, Sharpie, a white Uni Pascal. I think I have something else. Anyway, I'm going over this white areas with the white ink just to make it look like moonlight um, in in a way. I. I'm just really trying to capture the mood of that time and um, 
There's the Uni Pasco, which is an acrylic paint marker. Uh, Sharpie makes one. Liquitex, Liquitex makes a really nice one. Uh, there's lots of them around. You could use white pen or a brush. Um, I'm also sort of outlining some of the areas just to give it uh, just that little bright shine of moonlight. Changed my mind there, and I'm going to go in with some silver, um, just a silvery bit of silver. You can't really doesn't pick up too well on the video, but I finally sort of felt like I was getting in a groove here. I'd been away from journaling for a while, and just was having a little trouble. I was going back and forth with collage. What should I do? And um, you know, it felt good when I sort of stumbled on sort of the element of truth that I was after for this particular page I'm working on. So I decided to go ahead and put in some white on these little sketches for the moon, plus the reflection of the moon down here in the water and um, I'm just going to just really uh, lightly sketch in the bridge. Um, this this was a bit of a struggle for me. I'm not going to kid with you. Um, but now that I've been through it, I feel like I really came up with something that was meaningful to me. I remember being at the Japanese garden in the winter and the snow was really deep. They let me in because I was working on this series and it was uh, for Phil a Philadelphia show. So they let me in to work. And I remember making these sketches, the thumbnails. They have loads of pictures. It was so cold, but it was so magical. I guess, and I feel like I have recreated, at least for me, the feeling of that day and the memories I have of working on that series here. So it was a real nice time for me to revisit that, and I hope you learned something along the way. I did want to say that uh, I'm I'm liking the Pam Carriker colors, and I put two coats of the white on. The first coat sealed the watercolor underneath it and the second coat really came out pretty nice. So I hope you enjoyed. See you soon.